Welcome to Superior Profit Live class, Putting Q System into Practice, 26th April, 2017. I am Sagar Chief Analyst and Trader of Superior Profit. I will not take time to introduce myself. However, if you would like to know more about myself, the company Superior Profit registered in Singapore, and more importantly, how Superior Profit Way can help you into your own trading. You may visit our website, www.superiorprofit.co and click on the About Us menu. This is the third in a series of webinars that we promise to conduct for all the attendees of Metastock APEC Online Summit. 2017. This is the third and the last webinar in the series. In the first two webinars, we explained basics of superior profit way and Q trading system. And then we went through a series of trades that were actually posted in the traders community and explained how taking those trades would have generated significantly high profit on an annualized basis on total capital by taking only small risk in each trade. In this webinar, we will be actually executing different components of Q trading system, including sonar to identify potential trades. We will be looking at different chart templates to confirm the signals on the chart and then decide where to enter and exit the trades. Before we start, let's go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. In today's topics, we'll go through different Q components, including the indicators, different chart templates, and sonar. Beyond technical analysis, we'll explain how we use market sector industry and or fundamental analysis when required for different types of superior profit trading and investing. We will look at some live examples of identifying superior profit swing trades. We'll explain how superior profit long-term investment ideas are identified. And also we will look at identifying potential superior profit day trades. Q&A is throughout the session. You may feel free to ask questions through the Q&A panel and I will try to answer them as I go along. If I cannot answer it along the way, I will make sure I answer all the questions before the end of today's session. That was the last PowerPoint slide of this presentation. Now we will move to live system. In the email that we sent out, we announced to people that we will be explaining why we have bullish or bearish view on certain stocks. Let us start with the first one that is in C or insight. Let's look at insight through Metastock Zenith or icon. Insight Corporation is a biopharma company focused on discovery, development and commercialization of therapeutics. You may need more detail about it in the business summary. We can see in last one year, 
NC has gone up by 62% plus, whereas SPY or SPX has gone up by 14%. So we can say that it has outperformed the market by a huge margin. Now, if you are watching the news and if you are tracking the stocks using Q system, you would have noticed that a few days ago, NC had a big drop in its price. And let's look at Q chart, check on the date on which it dropped. This is the daily chart of NC using Q hop on template. This is the template that we used to finalize our decision to enter a trade. That's why we call it a hop on template. On this particular day, that is 13th April, after market close, a news came out that one of the drugs that was being developed by Insight was disapproved by FDA or Federal Drug Administration. On that news, price fell heavily to the lower boundary. The candle color that was cyan, that is bullish flow color, turn to bearish, that is the magenta flow color in the daily chart. At the same time, price went down to the lower boundary, the pair of lines at the bottom of the candle chart that is usually taken as an exit point for swing short trades in superior profit way. Because price had dropped significantly on this day, and it had already touched the usual target of lower boundary, normally we wouldn't consider taking a short trade at that point. When we take a superior profit trade, our first aim is to manage the risk. That is to make sure that our potential profit target is commensurate or acceptable relative to the risk that we are taking in the trade. If we had decided to enter a short trade on this day, a logical stop point would be above the recent high, that is the above the cyan candle, resulting in a pretty wide stop loss. Because price was already at the lower boundary, we couldn't consider lower boundary as a profit target in this case. The next support would be the ascending white direction line, that is the very slow direction line. And if we did that, we'll have a risk amount approximately of this height and a potential reward approximately of the height indicated by the lower arrow. It is not too unacceptable. However, normally in superior profit way, we wouldn't like to initiate a short trade when price is at the lower boundary. In spite of that, when this drop happened in superior profit traders community, we had shared a post expressing bearish view on Insight Corporation. Let's have a look at that post. We can go to superior profit traders community by visiting community from our main menu. Here, myself and many other traders from around the world tend to share their trade ideas with each other and sometimes with public. We can search the community for the post on Insight and we see that on April 17, I had shared a topic in the form of a quiz on Insight Corporation. This was the at a glance view of Insight at that time. In at a glance view, we look at weekly chart on the left hand side using Q backdrop template to show us what is the longer term trend for swing trading using weekly interval. And on the right hand side, we use daily chart using Q hop on template to confirm our decision to enter or hop onto a trade. So I had shared the idea just at the point price dropped to the lower boundary. Why did I have a bearish view? As I explained, normally we wouldn't like to take a short 
when the price came down to lower boundary. In spite of that, I had expressed my bearish view and that is because I also had a look at the fundamental of the company and compared with its peer groups. Let me go to that data and share it with you. Using Metastock Zenith, I had downloaded a list of stocks. This is, these are the names of the companies and the ticker symbol is in column A. They are all traded in the US exchange and they belong to biotech medical research industry sector. At that time, I was actually looking for potential long term investment in one of the biotech companies in US because this sector industry group has dropped a lot. How do we know that? Let's go back to the superior profit website. We can go to home and look for sector industry heat map and ranking table. At the top, we rank 10 market sectors across eight different periods starting from five days, 10 days, one month, all the way to six months. In each of these periods, we find out which one of these 10 sectors are performing strongest and we put a rank of one on them which one is performing weakest, put a rank of 10 to that, and then apply a heat map. Cyan color to the strongest one, magenta color to the weakest one, and a color gradient for all the sectors in between. We do the same thing for across all the eight review periods. What is the end result? We have a sector heat map ranking table that helps us at a glance tell which sectors are strong now, which sectors are weak, and more importantly or equally importantly, which sectors were weak earlier, magenta, and then turning cyan stronger, which ones were stronger earlier, cyan, and then turning weaker, magenta, and which sectors are staying weak all along, or which sector is staying more or less strong all along. Having an instant view of the strength and weakness of the sectors helps us to decide trades that are aligned with the sectors. The analysis that we do for the 10 sectors, we do it at a much deeper level for the 160 industry groups. Here, like the 10 sectors, we look at 160 industry groups across eight different review periods, rank them from one to 160, and then apply a heat map across all the review periods. So if we are looking for a swing short trade, we try to look for that trade in an industry that was strong earlier and now turning weak, that is whose color was cyan earlier but now turning magenta. For that, I may scroll down and we can readily see from the color coding that the industry of home construction that was very strong for many months in the past, going up to rank two in the second monthly review period has now deteriorated a lot. The rank going down to 78 over one month period, 60 over 10 day period, and now 131 in the last one week period or five days period. This shows immediately from the color code significant deterioration of the strength of this home construction industry group and we could easily look for potential short opportunities either swing trade or day trade or maybe even longer term short trades in this industry. What about biotech? Let's search for biotech we see that pharmaceutical and biotech 
was weak in the six and five month period for two months it tried to become stronger but since then it is again deteriorating in rank shown by the change of color from cyan towards magenta so the industry to which insight corporation belong was already weak that was one reason of me having a bearish view on the stock in spite of a big drop that is from a sector industry perspective now remember the big drop happened after FDA or Federal Drug Administration disapproved one of the drugs under development for insight. Now it is not difficult to imagine that when a drug company is developing a drug and it is close to getting approval, its price will go up and if the stock, if the company doesn't get approval on the drug, it may fall down. The question is, is there likelihood that it would fall further? For that, I wanted to do a PR analysis on pharma and biotech company using Metastock Zenith or Icon. And let me show you how I did that. In the equity search application, let's look for stocks in the United States and look for companies in biotech industry group let's look for a closing price that is at least greater than five dollar an average 90 day transaction volume trading volume say half a million per day if we do that we will get a list of companies we can now export this list to an excel and then compare the values the fundamental values of these different companies including dividend eps pe etc at the time that i shared the post i had already downloaded the data in the excel and let me show you the data now i can see there is a question from amit what do we check for the company i'm going to explain that right now there is also a question on what is the time horizon for long-term investing it is uh, one year or few years however we also have a profit target if that profit target is hit then we may book partial profit well ahead of one year time horizon and put a stop in place so that the entire trade is risk free from that time onward so I get two variations of this question from time to time. One is what is the profit target? What percentage? In superior profit way, we don't use a fixed percentage to set the profit target. Rather, we use well-defined support or resistance that we can see from the Q charts or accumulation distribution price point that we can see from Metastock Zenith. The other question was about time horizon uh, we for long-term investment would like to hold a stock for long time however if we have significant profit along the way we like to book profit at least partially and let profit run on the remaining position that is my personal style and i acknowledge that different long-term investors may have slightly different style in their investing let's look at the excel file where i downloaded all the data and let me delete some of the data that i don't need for this class so we have already filtered on average volume and closing price so we don't need to see them again now this was my list of stocks that i was analyzing based on fundamentals to identify potential long-term investment and here I look at different parameters to assess the strength of the company relative to its peer group. One thing to note is that in superior profit way, we are looking to enter long term investment when a strong stock for some reason, for some reason has dropped significantly. Therefore, in absolute terms, we don't expect all the stocks fundamentals to be very strong. Some of them are expected to be weak. It may be 
for something to do with the industry group or sector as a whole. Now here I look at multiple data points. Some of them are relevant to banks like price to book. So let me remove that. Okay. So firstly, uh, we are looking for stocks which had some earnings. In biotech in particular, there may be many companies which are still in early stage and therefore they don't have any earnings. We are not looking for, or at least personally, I am not looking for taking long-term position in them. So I look for taking a long-term position, be it biotech or not, in a stock which already started earning money for its shareholder. Then I look at multiple data points, PE relative to index and PE relative to sector shows along with PE, whether the stock at that time is expensive or not. EPS growth and revenue growth over five years shows what is the long term strength of the company. So in terms of fundamentals, I look at long term, medium term and short term parameters. EPS growth and revenue growth over five years shows the longer term strength in the past of the company. Operating margin shows whether the company is able to generate profit from its operations. From that, we can decide the medium term health of the company. Return on equity and return on total assets shows whether management is able to utilize the assets available to them efficiently. That shows the strength or weakness of the management. Quick ratio, current ratio and debt equity shows in the short term, that is quick ratio, a company is able to meet its debt obligation or not. And the last two parameters, current ratio, debt equity shows how is the capital structure on the company, how much debt it is using relative to equity and also what it is, what is its ability to meet its debt obligation over longer period that is current ratio. Now all of, all of these parameters or numbers in isolation do not meet, mean much because different industry and sectors have different normal values for these parameters. It is not useful to just look at absolute value. Instead, we may compare them with each other. Now, if you look at the companies which are significantly doing better you will immediately realize that UTHR is one of the strongest. It is generating earnings. It is PE relative to index and PE relative to sector is one of the lowest. That is, it is least expensive at this point. It has good growth in terms of EPS and revenue in last five year period. It is generating significant margin from its operations. It has positive and quite good relative to its peers return on equity as well as return on assets. Quick ratio, current ratio is also in line with its competitors and debt equity ratio is very low, much lower than one. So I found UTHR to be one of the strongest stocks in this industry group from this fundamental analysis. Let's have a look at the stock now using Q charts. Because it is a long term investment, let's start looking at it using weekly time period first. We are looking at UTHR using weekly line chart template. And we see in the longer term line chart, it is inside a triangle pattern, very wide triangle pattern between price 165 and 105. That is a very wide triangle bounded by automatically drawn memory resistance at the top and memory support at the bottom. Last time when the bear release signal came somewhere around March 2007, okay, February, I think end of February, since then price dropped at the right edge in the weekly chart price is oversold or stretched to the downside as indicated by this series of magenta and red dots. 
let's now look at it through the at a glance template here we are looking at it using weekly chart on the left hand side using q backdrop template and daily chart using q hop on template as we saw from the line chart after the bear release signal came in weekly stock price dropped significantly and it is bounded by a pair of memory lines it is also approaching but still some distance away from the low watermark level that is at about 98 price point and the lower memory line support memory is at around 102 price point if we drill down into the daily chart we see that price is in clear downtrend with lower high and lower lows in the daily chart we also see that price is being resisted by this declining resistance memory line so so far what we analyzed we looked at an industry group that was weak that is biotech then we found fundamentally uthr that is united therapeutics to be one of the strongest in that industry group and now looking at the chart we saw that the price is still falling down we have a number of explorer or sonar programs that help us identify the exact entry point for long term or for swing trade long position they are this bounce long that indicates a potential long trade after exhaustion a box long that indicates a potential long in a stock at a low point that is moving sideways go with flow long that is a potential buy point for a stock that is going up with higher high higher low that is in uptrend and headwind long that is potential long in a stock that has fallen a lot and now showing sign of reversal while it is still in downtrend so one thing we could do is create a list of the stocks like UTHR where we would like to take a long-term investment by position and regularly run bounce long box long both flow long and headwind long on that list at the same time what caught my attention accidentally in fact is the data on NC. if you see its pe ratio was highest and much higher than the strongest company uthr uthr had a pe of 8 whereas nc had a pe of 261 relative to index NC had a PE of 10 times, that is 1,191, and relative to sector, almost 1,600, that is 16 times. That is very, very high. So I combined that information now with what I was seeing on NC chart, that NC had just fallen a lot after a disappointment of FDA disapproval but my thought was that because the stock is so so highly priced this is not probably the end of the down move so what I shared in the post you can read it here in C the inside Corp, a biotech company based in the USA dropped by about 10% in a single day that wiped out a hefty 3 billion USD market cap from in C in a single day many traders would buy in c following the often misguided adage by the dips what would you do and my personal view at this point is in c is more like to fall further now since the day i posted this thought the spy had gone up significantly but insight hasn't been able to go up that is showing up in the relative performance this copper color line which is continuing to trend sharply downward so that was the reason i had a bearish view on insight corporation because the market has just opened we can actually go to the live chart we can see that price opened at this point after some time the early range high and the early range low has formed and price is 
inside this early range right now by the way when we are looking for long term investment we may not use the real time 5 minute chart that will provide too detail and information and similarly if we are looking for day trade probably it is not much used to look at very long term interval like weekly chart so though i am showing you weekly daily as well as intraday chart we need to keep in mind what kind of trades or investments we are thinking and then use the chart template that is appropriate for that so that was our discussion on insight now let's go to l i had a possible bearish view on l and let me explain why we will go back to the community yesterday after market closed i ran q sonar on a list of stocks that we have and i identified this company l if we look at l and their business segments we can see that financial segment produce 72% of the revenue whereas offshore drilling pipeline and hotels constitute relatively less portion of their revenue so it is basically an insurance company cna financial contributes to that now let's look at the strength or weakness of the insurance industry sector through our heat map over a monthly time period ignoring the leftmost two columns life insurance is weak that is having around 120 rank out of 160 total industry groups and the color magenta instantly tells us that it is weak reinsurance is also weak in the monthly period having a rank of 151 in last one month period insurance weak again non-life insurance weak again property property and casualty insurance is weak again full line insurance very much magenta weak so all the insurance related industry groups are weak i always look at q chart and this is how the q chart look like on the left hand side is again the weekly backdrop template right hand side the daily hop on template i saw that price is at a memory resistance in the weekly chart memory is coming from far far way back it had a bearish reversal headwind signal a few weeks ago since then price couldn't go up it also has a high watermark level and price is not able to go up above that for quite some time relative performance indicated by the copper color line is tilting down i can see two day two weeks with high activity both of them were down weeks indicated by red color so as far as the weekly backdrop is con concerned all the indications on l were bearish if we now look at the daily hop on template again price was resisted by two resistance memories at the bottom price is held by a support memory and more support memories further down the line price gapped up for two successive days and one of them had very high activity so market has opened let us look at this company using q fine tune real time chart so we are going to look at l and this time we will use the spotlight template whereby we can keep an eye on the daily chart and at the same time monitor the movement of the stock in real time 5 minute chart now in this case we were looking for a short opportunity so even if the stock is going up we wouldn't like to 
initiate any long trend. That is one way that we align more and more edges to our trade. That is decide on a trade's direction. Let's say day trade in this case using longer term analysis that is daily chart in this case and then using real time chart wait for the right moment. So on the left hand side here we are looking at L using daily hop on template and we can see today that is the last candle price tried to go down little bit indicated by the lower tail but then going up. Now there are two resistance lines one of them is already breached but we'll see whether price closes above that or not. Now we have a second memory resistance line and we also have the watermark high level. That is our reading from the daily chart. So we will be happy as day trader if price goes to this resistance level that is the memory resistance and I can read out the value from this bottom right hand corner if I move my cursor 47.75. So it is at 47.75 and currently if we now look into the real time five minute chart on the right hand side that is the five minute chart using Q fine tune template price is at 47.5. We had market open that is the stop open at this point indicated by the blue line. It formed a early range low the cyan dotted line at the lower end and the early range high, the cyan dotted line at the higher end. Price went above early range high. So currently it is bullish. Then price went to green dotted line that is last day's high. And currently it is above that. The cyan dots on top of the candle shows that price is overbought. That is overstretched to the upside. Now we are only going to take a short trade in this stock based on our analysis. So we could wait for a bear release signal, something like this magenta down arrow or red down arrow as the case may be appearing at the right edge of the chart. And then if the risk is very narrow, that is from our potential entry point, the top of the move is narrow relative to the potential down move on a five minute time frame then we can enter a day trade short quickly book profit once the risk distance is covered and probably hold on to the remaining position to let profit run that was my analysis and thought process behind posting of l as a potential day trade and swing trade now, how did I identify it? I identified it by Q sonar and let me run that now. As I explained, we have a number of sonar programs, including bounce, box, go with flow, headwind, each for different market conditions. But I want to run it using yesterday's data, not today because market has already opened. So I don't want to use exchange time frame. Let me use 25th data. So it will go through all the 500 stocks in S&P 500. I am not using local data that would have been somewhat faster, but I'm just running on online data. So it is going to exchange fetching all the data, doing all the calculation, applying as many conditions as possible of the unambiguous checklist and filtering few possible candidates for me to look at. Now I can click report and see out of 500 which ones had potential short meaning it might have hit some kind of memory resistance and you can see L came up. This is probably a good time to go to the unambiguous checklist and that is available from education swing trading. Here uh, we have a number of slides explaining the unambiguous checklist. So let me go to the bounce short checklist. These are the few conditions that were mentioned. See that the candle is bearish. Current candle is solid or with upper tail and this closing below last day's close. So I will switch back and forth between the checklist and our chart. And remember we need to look at 
one candle before today so it it had it it had neither a solid candle nor a candle with only upper tail so the first requirement was not met and also price didn't close below last day's close last day close will be the close of 24th april so surely 25th april didn't close below the close of previous day so this is the condition that i mentioned was not met second condition check that activity was heavy today or last day to ensure buyers are potentially exhausted so we can see while it was going up on this day there was very heavy activity indicated by the dot on the activity bar so that checklist condition was met verify that price is bouncing down from pre-established resistance it should be resistance like memory or well established watermark level so we can see that price exactly hit the memory resistance so if we had a close below previous days close then it will be bouncing down from the memory line next line this this is the only trade setup that allows short on traffic light bullish candle so traffic light is the candle color of the daily chart in Hopon template and it was green so this comment just mentioned that this is the only trade setup because it is sudden reversal trade it is okay to have candle flow color bullish that green or cyan as was in the case so that condition is also met it's more of a comment than a condition see that the stock is going down faster than broad market that is relative performance tilting down now because we didn't have a close below last day's close relative performance is still going up but if close if it closed below last day's close i am expecting the relative performance to tilt down and reward risk ratio is to be acceptable so in this case if it tilted down our stop loss will be just above the memory resistance if it tilted down our stop loss will be somewhere here and our initial profit target could be at the yellow that is slow direction line entry price i'm expecting to be somewhere around here for swing trade short and that gives me acceptable reward risk ratio so that condition is also made on the other hand if i am looking for a day trade then i need to go to the fine tune template let me do that now in this case i need to wait for a bear release signal to come and price come back to a pre-existing pivot line real-time pivot line if it were to happen right now then my stop loss will be just above the day's high on five minute chart my entry price will be at this pivot level where price come back comes back to and i could book profit as soon as my risk distance that is this distance is covered which should happen if price came back to the magenta line that is last day's close or blue line that is today's open now i could book some profit quickly at this pivot levels on real time chart and let profit run and may even hold the remaining position as a swing trade thereby taking risk very small amount on a five minute time frame but letting profit run or having reward on a much larger time scale that is daily time frame that is what i sometimes refer to as precision entry of swing trading using q fine tune template let's go back to the checklist the last check comment says as this is a fast reversal trade there is no need to check weekly chart so we went through the checklist conditions of bounds that is exertion based short trade and now you can see each of these checklist conditions can be answered unambiguously this is true not only for this bounds short trade setup it is true for bounds long trade setup both are exertion based and it is also true for the other three trade setups we have for different market conditions go with flow for trending box for sideways 
and headwind for reversing markets. Now it is time to look into L brands, LB, and explain why I had a longer term buy outlook on LB. Let's look at LB first using Zenith. Okay, L Brands Incorporation operates special in retail, specialty retail business. The company is focused on women's intimate and other apparel, beauty and fragrance categories, etc. Personal care. Its segments include Victoria's Secret, Bath, Bath and Body Works and also La Senza. So these are very strong brands, both Victoria's Secret, La Senza, and Bath Body Works are strong brands. So when we are looking for long-term investment, we also look for uh, companies with some competitive edge and brand value is one of them. So in specialty retail, LB has that brand value. We can see over last one year period, LB has dropped. 34% over last one year period, whereas S&P 500 has gone up by about 15. So it is underperforming the market by almost 50% over one year. That's a big drop. And we can see this in this line chart. However, at the right edge, we see that it is starting to go up. Now for long-term investment, our first starting point is actually the industry sector heat map ranking table where we try to look for industry groups that were weak earlier and now starting to be strong. So let's go back to that. Let's look for apparel. And for apparel retailers, we can indeed see that for many months it was weak, magenta, and now from last one month period to last 10 days to last one week period, it is turning stronger, that is cyan. So these are precisely the points where we would like to catch the bottom or almost the very bottom of some stocks in this industry group, which are fundamentally strong. So once we identified such an industry group, next step was to look at different companies in the industry group and find out which one is stronger so i have downloaded it already so let me go to that directly here i have all the all the data for the apparel retailers starting from bke aeo urban outfitter l brands etc and using excel formula i have color coded green the factors that are more desirable let's look at dividend so LB actually has dividend yield, which is relatively high compared to its peers. It has earnings, so it is producing profit. P ratio is 12.74. It is on the lower side. P relative to index and sector are also on the lower side compared to its peers. It has EPS growth for five years, revenue growth is also there, not very high, but there is also revenue growth for last one year period. It has healthy operating margin, and let me scroll to the right. There is no data on return on equity, return, return on total asset is fine compared to its peer group, and it is able to meet its data applications also. So if we look at the data and compare it with the peer group, then LB, stands out to be one of the stronger in terms of fundamental numbers and we know it has good brand value. So I selected LB as a potential long-term investment candidate based on firstly industry sector analysis, looking for industries that were weak and now turning strong and then finding which stocks in the apparel retailer industry are fundamentally strong. If you look at this list, you will find that there are few more companies also which are strong. And let me point that out. AEO has relatively lower side PE and PE relative to index and sector. That is, it is not expensive yet. EPS growth is there, revenue growth is there, though last one year period it declined. And 
if you do your analysis, you will see the other fundamentals are also quite good. When I posted the long-term investment idea, I also shared the apparel retailers industry group ranking. And you can see that time it was starting to change to Cyan on the five day period, but until 10 days period and one month period before it was still magenta. Now, if you look back now to current state of apparel retailers, you can see now that over five day period, 10 day period, and even one month period, it is turning cyan that is stronger, getting stronger. So it was the right time to catch the bottom or almost the very bottom of this industry group and of this stock in particular. All our final entry decisions are made based on Q charts. In the weekly chart, it had dropped a lot. Then it gave us a very bullish shape candle with a long lower tail with very high activity, indicating possible exhaustion of sellers in the weekly time frame. And since then, price slightly went up with relative performance tilting up stock doing better than overall market a bull release signal came and candle backdrop color had turned cyan that is bullish in all our charts cyan and green indicates bullish or upper side magenta red indicates bearish or lower side and yellow indicates neutral so in terms of weekly backdrop template all the readings at the right edge of the chart were bullish Though it had fallen earlier, it is in line with the industry move, which was weak earlier and was just uh, starting to become strong over last five days period when I posted this idea. In the daily chart, we see that after dropping, it went back up, constituting what we call a fake downside breakout. At the right edge of the chart, it breached the memory resistance line and the candle flow color in daily hop on template or cyan and the thumbs up indicates that it is at pendulum low that is a very low price where we can start looking for long term investment. So all the signals in daily and weekly were saying that the stock has declined a lot and now starting to go up. And that is the point when I decided to share this idea for long term investment. For long term investor, the stop could be placed just below the recent low, which is actually long time low also because the stock dropped a lot. And the profit target could be decided based on longer term resistance. That is the weekly memory resistance line around, around 70 price point. The entry price will be around 48.5. Stop loss will be 40. 142 like that. So this trade again would give us relatively good risk reward ratio. And that was my rationale behind sharing LB as long term investment at that point. We may look at LB as of today. Let's go back to Metastore and open it using Q hop on template. I had shared the long term long idea on this cyan candle. For a swing trader, the profit target will be at the upper boundary, which is also the point where the yellow slow direction line was coming down. The price point has already been reached. So a swing trader would have booked profit already, either full or maybe partial and put trailing stop to make the entire trade risk free from now onward. And a long term investor could surely move stop to break even point if they wanted, though my preference for long term investing is to keep the stock to the stock to the original position until it makes a low and goes back up again. And then I may put move my stock to the recent low. That is all uh, that I decided to share in this session. Thanks to all of you again for joining. I look forward to seeing you again in our next class.